Okay, so just thought I'd post a video of the enhanced gameplay UI I recently downloaded and been playing around with. And uh, this is a video just for my friends. So if you're a happen buyer, you're not going to get a lot of personality here. Alright, also an explanation for the sound of my voice. It's morning and it's a cheap microphone. Moving on. On the side, it shows all of your current units and gives you description. I'll leave it so that you can soak in some of the information here. And just down below on the left hand side, the arrow button offers a filter. You can turn all of these on and off. And worker as well. So that's pretty cute. There's also information on each addition to a tech. I mean, a lot more information. This is going to be very helpful. And in the upper left hand corner, you still have science, but it now has a bar that shows you how many turns you have left to your upgrade. Same with social policies. Look at that. I'm really enjoying this. Uh, decision making is more rapid now. Instead of having to go through multiple screens and tons of clicks, and possibly even overlooking some important information that you know you should need, uh, it's all readily available to hover over or within one or two clicks. So, well done. I'll put a link down below in the description so that you guys can grab it if you're interested. It really does change. I mean, this happiness information. Again, it's all for strategic assessment, so I'll let you soak some of it in without my jabbering. Also, feel free to pause it if I didn't leave you enough time. So here's strategic resources. I like that it shows what you're using them on, detailed, what you can use them on currently, and where you can find more without having to just pan all over the map. Again, if, I, if I'm going too fast over these, you have a pause button. All right. <clears throat> More buttons and quicker clicks to information. Here's all of the sieves that you're playing against or with, and a lowdown of their information, I mean, this has everything, who they're friends with, who they support for city-states, where they stand, what kind of shenanigans they pull, and how honorable they've been. So, Tons of great information before running headlong into a battle, and then realizing five of the civs around you are good friends with that person, all because you needed one more iron. They added a clock at the top as well. I think that's handy for those of us that pine away hours and hours on this game.
and down here you have all the city-states information. When you hover over each one, you get uh, their quests, their resources, who's allied with them, and and the name. That is a great at a glance reference guide. Okay, also when you hover over cities now you can see what terrain has been uh, improved and what hasn't. And where also you can expand to. This is now on the surface level, you don't have to go into the city menu. But inside the city menu you can see which are being worked, which are not being worked, and uh, a quick visual guide to what you can purchase. Obviously how much it costs. I also like how they redesigned all of the units that you can purchase, or you can see how many turns it will take at a glance. Hovering over each thing gives a more detailed description, so you'll never have to open up the Civilpedia again. changes when I change my focus. And at the bottom shows you what you're working on. Uh, you can filter to take off purchasing. And uh, they moved d don't grow anymore over to the upper left hand side. So overall, I'm enjoying this UI. I'm also using an AI enhancement that is supposed to increase the formation and focus of the AI armies as opposed to just being stronger and harder. They're actually smarter. I'll let you know how it goes.